Hello everybody, it is Rapid, and today we're going to be going over my new Redux build, Immortal Recon Moes. So, this is a Redux based build as uh, stated, it is so for PC only, but it also works on base game. So, our console players, if you'd like, just farm this gear or get it from, say, a trading or in a Discord server or something else. This is using either underrated or just generally powerful weapons in Redux and a cool shield mechanic that has been pointed out by multiple people. So, before we get into the gear and our skill tree, make sure to join me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rapidfactor, where I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 8.30pm EST, where we make these builds, play so many different video games, and have, of course, have fun, as well as join the Discord server. The Discord server will be linked in the description where the save files for my builds, including this one, will be and as well as it is constantly growing so you can join, make some friends, and of course build up our community. Now onto the video. So in this build, like I said, it's a sniper build. So we're going to be using, as you can see, the inventory is nothing but snipers. There's Krakatoas, Septimator Primes, Head Explosions, Boogeymen, Wedding Imitations, and of course, Complex Roots. Complex Root and Redux isn't as good as base game, but it is still worth a pickup. So, all of these, of course, are since we are on Redux, are non anointed. And they are all on this build because I consider them either really powerful or underrated and still very well powerful. So the reason this build is called Immortal Recon Mos is because of a shield mechanic. So yeah, on this build, the shield is a low leveled super soldier with at least one augment and amp, it can roll two augments. So if you only have one amp, you can put on, you make sure you have something else, of course, for it to be legit. And um, so with this low leveled, you can get it from vault cards, from just unlocking them on a low leveled character which is the way I did it. I just read only farmed for two amp. And then uh, the main way this is regening. So we're shooting, that's a depleting part of our shield. And then we are getting health regen from our blood letter and our artifact because of the rolls. They're instantly refilling them. Our shield is getting instantly refilled. And then we have our amp back and we have the special ability, the super soldier our immortal bubble we'll call it so every time you shoot it just stays up it just kind of resets it uh, resets the kind of cooldown so that is how this works we have the of course the blood letter with five and phalanx because we are not using urad so we don't need thin red line or desperate measures with weapon damage health regen and sniper rifle damage we have a pearl of ineffable knowledge this I just recommend using because it is a really good artifact, and of course it just gives us more damage. I have this with health regen and mag size. Our grenade, of course, we're on Moe, so it's the cloning maddening tracker. Of course, the greatest at proccing vampire. But that is it for the gear. Now onto the skill tree. So we're gonna be starting off with purple tree with three points of big surplus. Now, if you don't have purple tree, you can move these points around, but I recommend using Big Surplus, it's a big part of bossing on this build, and it's also the best for of course getting our biggest damage on true Guardian Takedown, which this build shreds. We have two in Biofuel, we did not need these four points right here, but we had extras and might as well pick them up. So two in Biofuel, this is whenever we ignite an enemy, we are getting health regen, we're using a lot of surplus and fire weapons in general, so we're constantly igniting enemies. Two in double time, well, this is not the biggest pickup. We had extra points and might as well put them here. A little bit of movement speed is nice. I still think Gearbox needs to buff this because otherwise it's really not worth it. Now onto Green Tree. Green Tree will be starting with five in Cloud of Lead for a chance to shoot a fire in shot, as well as a chance to not consume ammo. Three in Stoke the Embers for incendiary damage increase. One in redistribution for um, health regen and ammo regen after hitting a critical. Five in scrappy for weapon damage while moving, as well as handling weapon swap and mood switch mode switch. 
One in Russian Offensive. This is for sprinting and shooting at the same time, as well as gaining life steal whenever we sprint, which is literally everything, any damage we can do, including literally grenade damage, dot damage, action skill damage. Any damage that we do is getting us life steal while sprinting. And then we have five in Scorching RPMs. You can really choose between Scorching RPMs or Iron Bank but we picked up Scorching RPMs for the critical hit damage. This gives us fire rate and critical damage as well as Iron Bear damage, but Iron Bear doesn't need it at all. Next, we have Red Tree. In Red Tree, we have five in Armored Infantry for damage reduction and gun damage while our shields are active. And then five in Drowning in Brass. Whenever we get a kill, our fire rate is reduced, but we gain more gun damage. This stacks three times. Now blue tree where big portions of damage come from, of course, because the weird mayhem scaling. So we have five and fire in the skag den for incendiary damage after dealing splash damage. This gets mayhem scaling. Who knows what the number is? I think it's less than 31 or it could still be for 31. Three in means of destruction. This is a chance to add ammo to our mag or a chance to return a grenade after dealing splash damage. 5 in Tor cross promotion. This is a ch more splash damage as well as a chance to double our splash radius. 5 in Stainless Steel Bear. This for some reason gives more damage to Short Fuse. I don't fucking know why, but no one does uh, from what I know. 3 in Pull the Holy Pin. This was the move down the tree, but it's also just a decent pickup for getting our grenades to proc our redistribution and stuff like that. So 3 there. Grenades can crit. 3 in Vampire. So since it's Immortal, we don't really need the healing, but sometimes, you know, it's nice to keep that Vampire up, as well as just moving down the tree to get down to Short Fuse. 1 into the last, we can throw grenades while in Fight for Your Life. We're not in Fight for Your Life often, but it is, again, a nice pickup to have. You to either move down the tree, or for people who don't shoot every 5 seconds at least, one in Short Fuse, this gets Mayhem scaled, but recently got nerfed, but it is still a really good skill and will still do ridiculous damage, it, do it doesn't matter, nothing stops Moe's. That is it for the skill tree, this build really doesn't need anything Guardian rank wise, but I'd recommend turning off Topped Off, this is to keep your um, big surplus as long as you can. Mayhem, I play on Mayhem 11, and of course on Redux, we don't have to worry about any possible modifiers. And then, Vault Card, again, doesn't really matter as long as you pick up your Super Soldier. But, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for joining me. I've been Rapid Factor, and I'll be posting again Monday. Have a good rest of your night or day, whatever. Not just because I said so, because you want to. And, I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.